Amber Bentley is helping her seniors understand Anglo-Saxon literature. So we broke down some of the introductory reading, um, and instead of them all suffering through it, they each had a short little section. If they could just make sense of that section, um, they're kind of helping their classmates out. Ms. Bentley helps keep her kids interested by showing them that the old stories can still be connected to today. There's always themes. There's always things that prevail in life that still apply today. Um, faith, trust, friendships, betrayal, all of those color all our literature, and that's a way that I try to engage with them. Amber Bentley is more than an educator. She cares about her students in and out of her classroom. Honestly, if I weren't a teacher, I'd be like a psychologist. I just think that uh, working with these kids and the way they learn and trying to get them here is literature just is the great avenue to allow me to talk to them about some of the concepts that they're facing today and um, reach more of them. Sounds like it's shaping up to be an awesome final year for these Greenbrier 12th graders. Well, we started this year with senior bucket lists. Um, a lot of times seniors will want to waste this last year thinking they're done and they're over it. So we really took some time in the beginning of the year to set goals. Personal goals, academic goals, um, goals to get them out of their comfort zones. Congratulations, Amber Bentley, and thank you for making sure these students are prepared for school and for life. This is one profession where you don't ever have to wonder if what you do matters. Things like this, things like um, kids saying thank you, kids coming back to me years later as adults, having children and telling me what maybe something I said that meant to them. Uh, it's, it's a nice legacy, and it's a way to know that you can give back every day. And when she's not in the classroom, Amber Bentley is leading the yearbook staff at Greenbrier, very involved with her students for sure.